Well, investors, I'm asked to share my experience to share with you what are the biggest mistakes that investors make uh, when investing in bonds. Well, retail investors, when investing in bonds, do not really know what they're getting into and often invest without knowledge. They do not look at the risk, but only the returns and do not consider the suitability of the investments. Let me give you an example. The Lehman Bini Bond Saga. 6% return was promised in this investment. This is Lehman Bank. And that is investment grade, they were told, and much larger, larger six times larger than DBS. No one thought it would go under, naturally. Here, investors, did not actually know what they were buying as the product was a structured product. It was a very complicated product and they did not know the risks. Just like the way you check out the TV or a car or a product, you must also check out your investment thoroughly. Do not rush into it. It is my experience I notice that many do not monitor their investments. Once they invest, then they forget about it. No, you must read the annual report, follow the company announcements, and follow developments in the company. This is important. And let me tell you, usually greed and fear are the two main causes of failure. I'm also asked how difficult or easy is it for bondholders to recover their money when companies default. When a company defaults, in my experience, it is usually when they are having issues with their debt payments. By this time, bondholders who hold the bonds will find that they cannot exit their investment. It's too late. And the company also cannot pay the coupon, the interest they promised. So is the company able to find new capital structure is the main question in the minds of everyone. Is there new capital coming in? White night. Then there is hope of some recovery. They may not get 100% or even 50%, but some money will be recovered. So the crucial question for retail bond investors is also whether there is enough after the company pays the banks and the senior creditors. They have priority. Usually the small investors won't have a representation, you know, and nobody is there to speak for them. So SIS comes in to help small investors. The big creditors usually decide on what to do next. So we at SIS, we appoint steering committees so that the small bond investors can be represented at these restructuring meetings and to get a better return. And if the company goes into liquidation, it is very hard for bondholders to get any monies. So you must remember to do your homework first. Now, should more companies be required to have their bonds rated? As you know, many of the retail bonds are not rated, but there are both pros and cons of ratings. It is ideal to have bonds rated, but the question is who will pay for it? That's a big question, as most companies will not want to spend money on ratings. Also, we have seen ratings agencies getting wrong as well. So therefore, before you invest, read the prospectors offering circulars very carefully and product highlight sheet. You know, after Lehman Brothers product highlight sheet, MAS introduced, uh, on any bonds or, bond in, or investment, remember to ask your RM 
or salesperson from whom you buy the investment for this before putting your money down. When investing in bonds, uh, something that you should consider is issuing, uh, who is issuing the bonds? Who? What's the background, financial background? And what are the risks to the business? It's financial and credit ratios and who is on the board and the type of bonds. These are all you must, must consider factors. If retail investors, after doing research, still don't understand the materials, the company or the product, please walk away. You should not invest in it. So generally, AAA companies are safer. However, rating agencies have said that retail investors should not rely on ratings alone. Just remember, Moody's put Lehman Brothers investment grade A2 ratings on just on a review a few a mere five days before it filed for bankruptcy. Just imagine. Standard and Poor's gave AIG an investment grade A rating less than a week before the insurance company was nationalized. Therefore, you will need to always do your homework and stay updated. Rating alone is not enough. To start with, it is my opinion that government or statutory board bonds are considered safer as Singapore is rated triple A. However, corporate bonds, including corporates that are directly or indirectly owned by the Singapore government, would then require research and analysis too. And you need to ask questions about the background of the company. And please be sure to understand before you invest. Just like marriage, you need to ask the right questions. You don't choose your partner in a minute or in a hurry. You do research on the girl or boy's background, his character's temperament, and perhaps even you do a test drive before you choose your partner. Do likewise for investing in bonds or any investments. Thank you.